Hi, this is Chuck Lavazzi, the Senior Performing Arts Critic at 88.1 KDHX in St. Louis. And I'm Tina Farmer, the Senior Theater Critic. And we are here at the 43rd Humana Festival of New American Plays. We're at the very end of the festival and we have just seen the student intern production. They do one of these every year. And this one was a series of six one acts called We Have Come to Believe. Yes, the We've Come to Believe was written by Kara Lee Koth Corthran, Matthew Paul Olmos, mm -hmm. and Emily Feldman, and each of them did one or more short pieces that were combined together to kind of look at the ideas right. of uh, mass information, mass delusion, mm -hmm. how we re how we respond, internalize, and accept um, things like cults or. Um, when the media influences us to all believe in certain truths which may or may not be true. <laughs> may or may not be self-evident. Right. <laughs> uh, it's organized, in, this is kind of unusual structure this time because essentially it was like um, a, a prologue, a central section, and an epilogue. The, the prologue was written by uh, Cawthron. Cawthron. Cawthron, I'm sorry. And then the central section, three connected plays by Olmos, and then we have an epilogue by, and I've forgotten the play. Feldman. Right. Feldman. So it, the structure was a little different, and um, to me it all it didn't all hold together. I thought the central section was a little weak, frankly. So I enjoyed the central section, but like I said, I thought parts of the central section really kind of went off of the theme of, of mass understanding, mm -hmm. mass delusion, and went kind of more into the individual. And I think that's part of the reason why it felt a little disconnected from the rest of the show. I do, however, thought, think that there were some really good scenes, some really good writing within yeah. it. It just, it didn't feel like it was quite um, addressing the same theme. Yeah. Yeah, the opening sketch, which was, I'm looking down here, Pure, Pure Love, Love now, now, was perhaps the most successful, a, a short, funny send-up of, of cults. And then the one after that, it's... Uh, Our Impact on the World, impact which was about world. social media and how quickly and easy um, things can be disseminated via social media mm -hmm. and, more importantly, the way people can feel... Uh, emboldened to attack others or to over defend what they're mm -hmm. saying because they're hiding behind uh, the wall of social media. Yeah. Uh, whereas it may not be total anonymity, they are hiding behind sort of that protective yeah. wall. So I like that a lot. Uh, and then the three in a row that I'm looking at the program now, The Asleep, How the Lonely Live, and uh, The Awake, uh, are by almost, and they're really m almost more choreographic pieces than they are plays. They were beautifully choreographed, they were and indeed. I actually thought, again, that they raised a lot of really important questions. Mm -hmm. They just didn't seem quite as much to fit within the theme, although I loved all the challenging things that were happening. There were a lot of challenges to our beliefs, and a lot of, uh, hey, you can actually stop and change this. Uh, the one that I thought was really, really effective was actually uh, The Witch Hunt. Yeah. And I'm not, awake, I'm not sure. I think that. that was The Awake uh, where we saw, um, we saw persecutions of people with little factual reason for persecuting them throughout the history of America. And I really, that one resonated for me mm -hmm. a lot. And I thought that it was um, very successful. And then the last one I thought also worked very well, winning at yes. the Games of Life, a send-up of uh, self-improvement cults that had a lot of people really laughing in recognition. It, it was fun. funny because I think everybody in the audience has read at least one self-help <laughs> book, and I love the use, I love the way uh, Feldman used language mm -hmm. and, and then challenged empty language and empty words and phrases that sound like they mean something important but really don't. Oh. I love that. I love that it opens up with with somebody saying there is nothing, there is no hope, but really with that lovely ascension yeah. and, and, and the dancing and, and the lit shoes, I mean, I felt nothing but hope when all the actors were singing the final phrase as they're leaving the stage. I mean, for something that was ostensibly no hope exist, it, it had a very hopeful ending that really lifted the whole yeah. piece. So that was We've Come to Believe, the student intern show. That was our final, this is our final report from the Amanda Festival. Really a very good festival this year. Uh, signing Excellent. off. Yeah, so signing off till next time, this is Chuck Lavazzi. And I'm Tina Farmer. See you later.